The news summary, good evening. The Seychelles Fishing Authority is currently developing a management plan for the fishing of spanner crabs. Today, they held the first consultation meeting with all the stakeholders, including fishermen and fisheries scientists. This work is part of a collaboration with the Nature Conservancy under a grant called International Climate Initiative. Through this project, SFA is using an approach called Fish path to develop a management plan which is sustainable and takes into account the opinions and expertise of fishermen as well as technical experts. It may be a fishery with a huge potential to generate economic revenue to Seychelles, but it must be done responsibly and sustainably. This is the whole reason why we are here today. The main aim of this workshop is to showcase the importance of proactively managing a resource in a manner that ensures effective, long-term sustainability to those fisheries. I am certain that all of us in this room today want the same thing. We want to ensure that everyone can fish today and that our children and grandchildren can fish tomorrow and in the next generation. Now that the Besetan Prana district has received a new marketplace, our team went to see how the vendors are coping. They say that they are satisfied with the area, but there's room for improvement, like putting more tables so they can put uh, they can bring more goods to sell and a sink to keep a proper hygiene. Our team noticed that not all vendors moved to the new area. These are vendors that sell some meat products. The area where the meat products should be sold in the new marketplace is not operational yet, which makes the vendors stay where they normally sell their products near the Bicentana Community Center. The marketplace opened its doors on the 1st of this month. Christy Kami is the winner of the President's Cup as the best student of the Seychelles Tourism Academy for this year. She received the cup during a graduation ceremony held at the ICCS yesterday afternoon. Also during the ceremony for the first time this year, a disabled student, Abraham Adodin, also received a certificate after completing a course in hospitality and services. He was one of the the 181 uh, Tourism Academy students who received uh, their certificates in all the courses offered by the Academy, including hotel management, catering and bar, as well as wellness and spa. Dear graduates, rest assured that the staff of the Seychelles Tourism Academy will continue to remain in contact beyond your graduation and well into your employment if you require any of their assistance. I urge all of you to join our alumni club as a platform to remain connected. Allow me to extend my sincerest personal congratulations. You made it, and it's time to celebrate all the hard work that has led to this joyful occasion. The road to graduation is a long, steep climb. So take a moment at the summit to be proud of your accomplishments. And wherever your dreams take you to, I wish you all the best. The University of Seychelles is calling on people to have trust in the institution. The Vice Chancellor of UNICE, Joël Perrault, made the call after she was named as one of the Vice Presidents of the Regional Conference for Vice Chancellors of Southeast Africa and the Indian Ocean. This region has 44 universities as members and is one of the 10 regions of the largest associations of universities in the world, the L'Agence Universitaire de la Francophonie. University of Seychelles being a member of this association first and foremost, it gives more openings, more opportunities to Seychellois. Therefore, coming through the University of Seychelles gives you direct access to the 1,030 universities in the world. And also because we have now a seat as one of the vice presidents of the regional conference for all rectors, for all vice chancellors, it gives us even 
larger, um, more opportunities, and also connects us with more uh, researchers, more experts for different fields in the region. The University of Seychelles, we don't need to be offering everything uh, that people need here. But through us, when you talk to us, when you come see us, we can put you in contact with other universities. Maybe they can offer you opportunities, but through us, because we are all, all working together now. So trust the University of Seychelles, because the International Association trusted us and even gave us this uh, seat as one of the vice presidents so in, in the region. So it means that the world trusts us, and we really hope that Seychelles and Seychelles will trust us for us to offer you the best opportunities that you will need. The illegal arms and prevention of terrorism case against uh, Mukesh and Laura Valabji, Leslie Benoiton, Leopold Payet, and Frank Marie is set to start uh, again on the 14th of August. The prosecution is at its third witness, but the defense had several objections with regards to the documents made available to the defense lawyers that are not matching. The prosecution has been tasked to fixing this, and uh, furthermore, the case will not be heard next week due to the sittings of the Court of Appeals. The court has also granted the Valabji couple to permission to meet with their lawyers next week. At least four foreign legal representatives are due to arrive over the weekend to help the Valabjis with their case. That's it for the news summary. We'll be back at 8 with the Creole News Bulletin. Bye for now.